All right, guys. So there we have got some questions to consider uh, working with our periodic table of elements. So this is just a quick revision that we are going to have of the periodic table of elements. Remember, we talked about our periodic table of elements uh, on this part uh, where I try to explain what you just need to know in your syllabus, uh, this and that. So we shall have a continuation from this part that we had just trying to figure out how these questions might be given. So we are given on number one, in your own words, explain what you think the periodic table is. So after all that I talked about, about the periodic table, what you're seeing here, what, how can you conclude? How can you conclude in your own words? So we saw that there we are talking about the issue of elements. So if your answers are referring about elements, yes, I, it, it, can be, it can be fine because that is what we are seeing there. So maybe you're going to specify that the periodic table, it classifies all the elements on earth because these are all elements on earth. Like I said, having a total of 118 elements on earth so that is maybe what you can talk about we do, i don't know what you but let it be about the elements okay so you can talk about uh, it um, clarifies the the issue of the elements talking about the the name what we have about that atomic number, which is of, of that element. The symbol that we are having, they can also give us the atomic mass. There are so many properties. So just choose any that you are capable of uh, having. All right, so in this case, uh, let me just write one or two. So you can simply say uh, at least the periodic table Okay, the periodic table, uh, the periodic table lists. So this one that is going to list all the elements, all right? All the elements that we know, all right, that we know on Earth. So every, everything that we know, all the elements, or you can say it classifies all the elements on earth, or you can just say it classifies. Okay, it classifies all the elements. all the elements on earth. So I want you to have that in mind. It's about the elements. So I don't know what you're going to talk about. I explained a lot of things here. Uh, you're going to refer about uh, the, the element that is being shown there, that it can give us the information about that element. That's the periodic table. So in your own words, all right. Number two, where do you where do we find metals, and where do we find non-metals on the periodic table? Okay, I explained uh, this. Uh, that is where actually I just ended there about uh, these metals and non-metals. So you see that. Uh, the metals are found on the left side, as we can see uh, the part of our non-metals starting from this carbon here. Uh, these are non-metals, these ones that we are seeing on this other hand, okay? So these are non-metals talking of, uh, there are also some important non-metals that we have 
uh, that you need to understand. Okay, but these are non-metals that we are going to have the carbon, uh, the nitrogen, the oxygen, all these are non-metals. Okay, then we also have the part of under the non-metals which are called the halogens. Okay, all these here, the halogens, but it's not important for you guys. Just know that this side, okay, that we are having is for the non-metals. So this other side that we are having here is for the, uh, so according to your table here, is for the metals that we are going to have. So is the left side for the metals and the right side for the non-metals. So that is what you can see from your periodic table. You can see that, um, okay, you can see that the metals, so metals are on the uh, left side, okay? We can conclude that metals are found on the left side. So metals are on the on the left side, on the left side, okay? And we saw that non-metals, because we also talk of what? The non-metals, it's not a metal. If it's not a metal, it can be, uh, it can be a gas, it can be a noble gas, it can be a halogen. And also take note, uh, hydrogen is uh, where it is there, it's, it's, it's a non-metal gas, okay? Do not consider that hydro hydrogen. That's why we do not even talk about it when on other properties of metals that are on, on those columns and so forth. So the non-metals, we consider all of them like what we can pre what we can conclude on our on our periodic table. So and non-metals are on the right side. Uh, on the right side of the periodic table, okay? Then uh, this is, what is the third class of elements called, okay? What is the third class of elements called that we have learned about where they have, where they are, where they are found? Okay, so I want us to, to be, to be, to be, to be, to be careful on this one. What is the third class, the third class of elements called the third class that we have learned about and where they are found? Okay, the third class. Remember, uh, the most two that we know that we are going to have as the part of what? Metals and non-metals. So when they're talking about the third class, we are talking about the semi-metals now. That is the third class, the semi-metal. And where are they found? And where are they found? Semi-metals. What, what can we say about semi-metals? It's not a metal. It's not a non-metal. It's a semi, semi, in between, semi. It's neither this nor this. So where is it found? So it is found in between the metal and the non-metal. All right, so that is what we are going to talk about there. So these are semi-metals. Semi-metals. You know of metals and non-metals. You can easily take, okay, this is a metal. This is a non-metal, okay? Hydrogen is a non-metal. But what about semi, semi-metals? Semi, it means neither this nor it's in between this and that. Okay, so these are semi-metals. And 
we need to know where are they found and where are they found it's supposed to be a, it's a question this one guys. Right? okay and where are they found so these ones they are found and are found all right so these ones are also found they are found uh in between in between uh the metals so remember we talked about the metals before uh the metals and what and nanometals and nanometals I hope you are going to understand this in a what? In a jagged line. In a jagged line. So this is something that we, 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 we can consider. See, it's in between. So be careful on that one, uh, which is a semi-metal. You are very considered about metals and non-metals, but also know that there is a semi-metal. Okay, number four, give the symbols of two examples of metals and two examples uh, that we are given. Give two examples. So you check N, you just need the symbol there, okay? Give the symbols of two examples of metals and two examples of non-metals. So you see, they mostly focus about metals, non-metals. That is why you guys, you are just metals, non-metals, but you end up missing the semi-metals don't don't miss that in your revisions okay so this is what you're going to do on your periodic table let's go back to our remember i said all these other part that you're gonna have are the same metals and so forth so if you also check here they gave us this this light blue this one is the exact metal that you're talking about all these these are metals you can list all these that are in blue any of these okay any of these that you are seeing in uh, in blue, any of these that we are seeing there, the lithium, lithium. Um, then to this other part also, this aluminium and so forth, you can list, they just want you to, to list guys, the what? The symbols, the symbol that we are seeing. So I can just list, if I want this, it's aluminum. I can just list AL. These are metals, okay? So metals, uh, there are so many there. You can talk of uh, uh, aluminum, which is AL that we can see there. We can talk of uh, indium, okay? Let's let's go back to other metals. Uh, we can talk of this indium. Uh, all these that we are seeing. Okay, let's go out here, guys, guys, guys. There are so many. All these we can talk of uh, the sodium, magnesium. Uh, talk of potassium. Talk of calcium. All these. So this is uh, scandium, scandium, okay? So guys, okay, if you know it, just take it like that. There are so many. So just list. So you just name M, G, N, A, K, all these. So these are the letters that, I um, mean, the symbols, those are the ones that you are listing here. So there are so many. We can talk of our lithium, uh, beryllium, which is B E, uh, magnesium, which is M G. Um, we can talk of sodium. Uh, there are so many. I talked of aluminium there. Uh, there are so many there that we can uh, list. All right. So I just want you to list as many as you can. Uh, we can talk of uh, copper. We can talk of zinc, guys. These are metals, okay? Then non-metals. 
So they just wanted you to list two there. So non-metals, if you check again, you can take your non-metals. Remember we said non-metals are these ones which are on the far right. So just list any, any, any of these. They are non-metals, any of these, including also uh, the part of your, what, your hydrogen. So you can talk of or any of these, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, uh, the fluorine, um, the, the phosphorus. Okay, this one, P is for phosphorus. Uh, the S for sulfur, the chlorine. Uh, everything that we can see here. Uh, okay, we also have this bromine. Uh, going to these uh, noble gases that we have, the part of the helium, they are also part of these, okay? Uh, the part of the neon, all these, just list any, any two of your choice, all right? Any two of your choice. So guys, uh, just list any two there, okay? Just the symbols. Like I said, you can take the carbon, uh, the nitrogen, oxygen, okay, the oxygen, uh, the fluorine, and so on. It's just two of your choice, okay? Just any two of your choice, any two. Complete the following sentence. The elements are arranged in order of increasing. We talked about that. This is increasing what? The increasing atomic number. If you still remember on our introduction, I talked about this here, that uh, the elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic number. So there, they wanted the answer to be atomic number. All right, that's the atomic number. That's what you need, all right? So we are going to have a continuation of the similar exercise uh, in our next class. So make sure that you do the right thing, subscribe so that you do not miss any of these classes that we shall have for our grade eight classes. So make sure that you do the right thing to also watch the next class so that you do understand up to the last part.